Hello friends, welcome to another video of Advanced Excel for Visually Impaired by Accessible Computing. In this video, I am going to tell you about data validation in MX Excel, which is very very important, especially when you are using MS Excel in your professional life. So those who are interested to know what is data validation and how it works, how you can work with screen reader, please watch the video till the end. Not only this video, you have to watch upcoming 3 to 4 videos because I will make 3 to 4 videos on how to do data validation in MS Excel because this is a quite big subject and I don't want to make a videos uh, with 10 minutes with uh, 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes duration so you can easily remember you can easily watch every videos till the end that's why I am making small small video one more request friends Please, please, please share this video and like this video. You are watching my videos, but you are not liking videos. Why friends? Please like the video. And I want lots of shares because this is a very important topic and very interesting topic. So please share the video with your blind community. And also let me know in the comment section how the topic helps you. Okay, so without any delay, let's start today's episode. So what is data validation? Data validation is basically used to restrict a sale. Which means, suppose we want to enter phone number in a cell. We can tell Excel that in the cell, a person can only enter 10 digits phone number. Or I want to specify some criteria when a person enter data i can do with data validation that's why it's called data validation there are seven to eight types of data validation available in ms excel i will show you one by one for today i will show you first two data validation so before going to the main video or practical i would like to thank you everyone for supporting this series because I am getting so much views on other topics and other videos of advanced excel so I know you are getting enhanced with the knowledges if yes then press the like button and comment below so I have already created a sheet with some data name a1 name Rajiv a2 Rajiv a6 there are names name available. mobile number b1 Mobile number salary C1 salary okay so so I'm going to mobile batch of blank B2 yes B2 so below the mobile number now here I need to apply the data validation formula to go to data validation formula you can use the access key Alt A V V or you can just press Alt A to go to data tab Alt A upper ribbon data tab six of nine then Alt press tab Menu get and transform from from web from a recent exist queries queries and property edit links sort and sort z sort dot filter clear button reapply but advanced dot data tools text to columns dot dot flash fill button remove duplicates data validation dot 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 split button alt followed by a v yes this is the data validation so it's dot 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 button so i'm pressing enter here enter leaving menus leaving ribbons data validation input message tab selected to switch pages press continue. so there are three tabs first we need to choose settings tab so i'm pressing left arrow settings tab selected to switch settings tab now i'm pressing tab okay let me switch down to slow, slow, slower. speed okay allow combo box any value to change. so allow combo box this combo box is used to specify the data I mean what type of data you want to enter in the cell okay so if you choose any value which means you can type anything other it's number other it can be letters text whatever you want but remember I want to show you how you can restrict the cell with another patients so let me press the down arrow Okay, if the download is not works, just press right row. Whole number two of eight. Whole number. Whole number means the number where we do not use point sign or 
that dot sign or period sign. 5, 2, 3, 1, 4, 7, 10, 15, whatever. Okay. So, first I want to show you about the whole number. Because in phone number generally, in Indian phone number generally there are 10 digits. Okay. So, I am pressing tab. Data combo box between the now here I need to apply the second condition which is data condition. First we need to choose the type of data then you need to apply the condition. Okay. So first is between. Suppose you want to enter a data uh, which may, which is uh, between 2 to 5. I mean 2 digits to 5 digits or 4 digits to 11 digits. In that case you will have to select this option i am pressing right arrow okay i am pressing down arrow not between not between two yes. of eight. not between so it's simple if you want to enter any data range not between data range suppose if you want to um, enter the data like below 5 and above 10 you don't want to type the data between 5 to 10 or 5 digit to 10 digit remember 5 to 10 means 5 digits to 10 digits it doesn't mean that 5 to 10 like if you enter 6 7 8 and it's okay it always it, it contains digit okay so this is not between equal to 3 of 8 now it's equal to equal to means if we want that we need to enter 10 digits not below 10 not above 10 in those case we use equal to not equal to four. not equal to means not equal to if we don't want that uh, if we want below 9 or above 9 not 9 not equal to 9 I mean 9 digits okay remember again so in those case you have to use not equal, not equal to greater than 5 of greater than means minimum if you set your uh, suppose if you said that okay a person must be entered at least five digits here so you have to choose greater than then you have to enter the value five i will show you how to enter the value less than six of eight less than similarly you want to you want a person to enter a data below four so you have to i mean below four digits you have to select this and choose four in data or in value Greater than or equal to greater than eight. or equal to, which means either nine digits or greater than nine digits. Okay. Less than or equal to eight less eight. than or equals to. I mean, either less than nine digits or equal to nine digits. I mean, you can type up to nine digits. You can type five digits, six digits, seven digits. Okay. So these all are the options available here. Now let me tell you what option should I choose in our phone number case. Let me know into the comment section. I will give you 10 seconds. Okay, so I will see the comment later and I will also try to reply. So let me choose Home between one between, of, not between two not of eight between equal to three of equal eight equal to so equal to we should use after this i am pressing tab value edit type and text now it is the time to enter your value here you have to enter the value so basically in indian numbers there are 10 digits so i am num entering lock off, num lock on. 10 so Remember, you do not use the point sign or the period sign like 10.00 or something like this. After that, I'm pressing tab. 10. Ignore blank checkbox checked. So if you want to ignore the blank cells, so if if the data is already present in your cell, in those case, you can use. Okay. I'm not Space, checking not this. Check. Clear all button to act. Clear all. So I'm not going to and it is right now i'll tell you what's the feature okay button so click on ok button just press space bar or enter key on ok button it will work enter blank whole number input equal to 10 b 
type one. Okay. Net Rajiv. Blank. Whole number input. Whole number input. Now I am typing one point zero zero. Let's see what will happen. Edit one. I am tapping, then I am pressing enter. Zero, zero, enter. Microsoft Excel dialog. This value doesn't match the data validation restrictions defined for this cell. Ret okay. So there are two options. Retry Help button and retry cancel button. Cancel button. So I am canceling. Blank. Blank. I am deleting everything. Then now I am typing a number, a phone number, which is, which contains eight digits. Let's see what will happen. Suppose I am typing. I'm pressing enter. Ninety-eight million seven hundred eighty-nine. It also not working. Cancel but enter blank. Now I'm just typing a number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Then I'm pressing enter. One billion two hundred thirty. Enter. Why it's not working? Blank. Because I have forgotten to delete the previous numbers. Again, I am just writing zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pressing enter. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Rajiv. Yes. Obscured widen. Number, number, number. Whole number input equal to B2 contains. Okay, so uh, I have just, I, I have just um, give some uh, invalid value. So that's why it not working properly. But in your case, it's working. Okay. So let me show you the next. Sal name. Rajiv name. Salary. So salary. Raj. So in salary, we need to enter some, suppose some, someone, uh, someone's salary is 10,500. So we need to enter 10500, right? So sometimes we, we can enter just 10.5 or 2.5. Okay. So now I'm just going to. Uh, data validation by pressing Alt A V V. Alt A. Leaving menus. Leaving I'm pressing tab. V. Allow combo box. Any. Allow any value. I'm Hold changing decimal. Decimal. Eight. Okay. De data combo box between the so change. So between. Not, not between, between. Equal to. Equal to. Not equal to. Not equal to. Eight. Greater than. Greater than. Less than six. Less than. Okay. So here also also you can choose any number so if you choose between so you can i'm just not between, suppose but not between one of eight suppose between, i'm choosing between minimum edit type and text minimum i'm m. i'm giving 1.0 1 and 0 maximum maximum i'm giving 10.0 just just uh for this video zero ignore blank, ignore blank check checks check check clear all okay button so i'm clicking on okay button space now Nay, Rajiv. Blank decimal input. Now here I am tapping. Uh, 45. Then I am pressing enter. 45. Enter it's not escape. working. Bl blank name. Rajiv. Blank decimal input. I am typing 15.00. Fi zero, zero, not working. Microsoft escape. Radis escape. Rajiv. Blank. Rajiv. Blank. Rajiv. Blank. Blank. But now I am tapping 5.00. F zero, 00. And Rajiv. 12 a.m. decimal input between 1 and 10. C2 contains data validation. OPM. Okay, so I think uh, we have some problem. I mean, in my Excel, as I am using Office 2022, sorry, to, uh, 2021. So I think I have some problem in my Excel sheet. So please try yourself and let me know into the comment section whether it works or not. I know it works. But if you have any doubts, any queries, you can ask me into the comment section also. Also, we have telegram group. So if you're in there, I will try to help you out. Okay. So this is all about, uh, this is for today. I will not uh, expand today's session. In the next session, we will discuss about date and time restriction. You may try on your own, uh, but if you have any doubt, any issues, then wait for the next session. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying with me till the end. Again, one more request. Please share the video and please like the video and support me. I will upload the next data validation series very soon. Till then, stay safe. Take care. This is Ratul signing off.